What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Okay, back with another tutorial, this time we are going to draw Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Before we start, make sure to draw a perfect square, each side is 4 cm and without further ado, let's get to it, we are going to start by drawing Gogeta's face. Next, we're going to use this guideline to mark the center of his face. We'll align it with his hairline, just like that. And then from that point, we're going to draw the wrinkles between the eyes, following up with the eyebrow, and as you can see, it's parallel to the sideburn. To draw the eye, we'll simply use two diagonals and the curve underneath and we'll add the famous cheek marks. Next, we're going to do the same process for the left side, although this side will appear a bit smaller because of the angle. We'll add the irises. The bumps above the eyes. And then we're going to draw the nose by using five lines, still using the guideline to help us place it in the right area. Next, we'll draw the mouth really close to the nose. We'll indicate his chin. And then following up, we'll draw the ear. We we'll start with the shape of the ear. As you can see, I'm using four lines for that. And then simply add all the details inside. Next, we're going to draw his famous spike of hair from the front. And I always like to cover the eye a bit. It just looks so much better like that. We'll do some adjustments. And then let's go ahead and draw the hair. But first we're going to indicate his neck. We'll do that by using two lines. Then we're going to draw two spikes on each side. We'll do that by using two to three lines. And next, we're going to use this guideline to help us draw the rest of the spikes. Using that guideline help us maintain the right symmetry and the right proportions. Awesome, once we got all the spikes, we can add the details and we'll do that by adding some lines in the direction of the spikes. Awesome, so now it's time to draw the torso. First, we are going to start by refining the neck. We'll do that by adding the neck muscles and is Adam's apple. Then we are going to draw two lines to create the traps. 
after that we'll mark the center of the torso by using this guideline and then we'll draw two circles to indicate the shoulder muscles and now it's time to refine it so we are going to start by drawing the chest muscles Next, we are going to draw those lumps on top of his vest. It kind of looks like he has a snake wrapped around his neck or a worm or whatever. Just make it puffy. We'll do the same for the sleeves. One snake on each side. And as you can see, along the way, I'm drawing the vest. Now it's time to add the muscles. We are going to start with the bicep, then the shoulder, and the tricep. We'll do the same for the right side, starting with the shoulder muscles, following up with the bicep, and then the tricep. We'll also indicate the abs right underneath the chest. And then we're going to refine the snakes by adding some creases. Awesome, so we are done with the sketching process and now it's time to use the inking pens. So what I like to do while inking is first holding the pencil closer to the tip, that way I can have more control and I also like to rotate the page so I can go with my natural hand movement, that way it will be much easier to ink and you can do that by either pushing lines or by pulling lines. As for the size of the inking pen, as you can see I'm using 0.25 but you can use 0.1 or 0.2 or 0.3, it's not a big difference. So once we are done, please make sure to get rid of all the lead, erase that so it can be very clean because we are going to use the Copic markers later on. Awesome, now that it's clean. We can use the Copic markers, for those who don't know, those are alcohol based markers which means they can blend very well and they have a variety of different tones. Now if you don't have Copic markers you can use Windsor and Newton markers or you can use color pencils and if you don't have that you can simply use your HB2 pencil and do some shading just like I taught you in the black and white tutorials. That being said, we are going to use Copic markers for this tutorial. And as you can see, I started by coloring the vest with the darkest tone. We are going to use three different tones to each object. As you can see, I'm coloring with the direction of the shape. And when I add more layers, color seem more dark. Next, we're going to use the mid-tone. Again, coloring in the direction of the shape by using some very nice brush strokes. And finally, we are going to use the brightest tone, coloring the remaining blank areas. So as you can see, it's kind of a purple gray tone. If you don't have that, you can just use gray tones. And if you want the specific Copic numbers, it's BV29 for the darkest tone, BV25 for the mid-tone and BV23 for the brightest tone. Next, we are going to color those bastard snakes. We'll start with the darkest tone which is gonna be a mustard kind of tone. Again, coloring in the direction of the shape. And as you can see, the main light source for this drawing comes from the left side. 
which means that the dark side will be sorry, which means that the right side will be darker because it gets less light. So next we are going to use the mitone that's gonna be a yellow color, Y13. And as you can see, I'm leaving some blank areas. Those will be the highlighted areas. And we'll color them with Y00. That's a very bright yellow. So that's Y28 for the darkest tone, Y13, and then Y00. Once we are done with that, it's time to color the skin tones. We are going to start with E07 coloring all the darkest areas. Next, we're going to use YR02, that's an orange skin tone, very popular in Dragon Ball Z. And again, coloring in the direction of the shape, adding more layers to get a more solid look. And finally, using the brightest tone that's gonna be E00. And as you can see, I'm not doing too much blending because I want to maintain that cell shading look. Awesome, once we are done with that, it's time to color the hair. For that we are going to use some blue tones, we'll start with the darkest blue, it's gonna be B39 and as you can see I'm doing that with a minimum use. After that we are going to use B26, as you can see it's a brighter tone of blue, pretty sure it's navy blue. And to finish up, we're going to use B02 for the remaining areas. And we almost forgot to color the spike from the front, so I'm just gonna add the mid tone and then we'll continue with the brightest tone. We'll use the same color for the eyebrows. Next for the eyes you can use B26 again or B24, just a blue color. And then we'll blend it with BO2, the same color we used for the brightest areas of the hair. And if you colored outside of the lines by accident, just like me, 
You can use the colorless blender to soak that ink just like that. And we are done! Everybody. This is how you draw Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Please let me know how you did in the comment section. Tell me how was this tutorial and let me know who would you like me to draw next. Also make sure to subscribe if you know I upload new videos every week. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep being awesome as always. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Peace.